Hey guys, Mac with Momentum here. Uh, we are in Report Garden, this schmancy tool here. It's uh, pretty in depth with all the different things and integrations it has all here on the left hand side. You can do everything from like uh, reporting, custom reporting, keyword tracking, which is what we're going to talk about today, invoicing, budgeting, approvals, leads, proposals, CRM, all this fun stuff. We are definitely, definitely underutilizing it. However, we're about to get busy and we're going to do some keyword tracking. Uh, here's where you see all your different clients and you can rank and organize them. But all you got to do, click new domain, um, set up what website you want to uh, track. We're going to use my case study as always, phoneparaphilia.com. Um, let's just get the domain right here, which we use the HTTPS version, the website URL, post that. You can save people as a client. So down in accounts and CRM, you can save certain clients. So that way it pulls directly to that report or saves it in their dashboard. We want to track the organic analysis, on-site analysis, backlinks. Um, we've got a bunch, select number of backlinks. Let's track 100 keywords. Can we do 100? So next we go to keywords, I believe. And this is where you can paste in a lot of different keywords. So you could actually pull this from Search Console, um, or you could pull this from like a third party like a Moz or SEMrush. Um, I'm just going to type in a couple for the sake of time. Phone repair in Philadelphia. iPhone repair in Philadelphia. Phone repair near me. Crack iPhone screen repair Philly. iPhone cracked screen replacement Philadelphia. Let's do a couple more. Phone repair. Uh, let's put Philadelphia phone repair. Um, cracked screen repair. The ones obviously that you use like a geolocation with it, um, and if your business is local, you're definitely going to rank higher. The ones like this, who knows if I'll even be close to the first page. iPhone cracked screen. Um, let's just put the branded one there. We better show up first. So what do you got there? Four or five. Let's do one more. Um, Samsung repair Philadelphia. So search engine Google US. Please enter the city name. Ooh, did not know they had that. That is actually really cool. Uh, let's just let's do mobile. More people are searching for me on mobile. Uh, you can add new search engines. Wow, this has really got a long way since I used it before. Um, then you can track competitors. This is really nice. Let's put in some people that we don't like so much. Easy computer repair Philadelphia. And let's do Philly Wireless. So Easy Computers, let's take that domain. My Philly Wireless, we'll take that domain. Copy. Um, easy Computers, paste. Nice. Philly Wireless. Paste, yes. Um, let's track my other domain actually too. iPadRepairPhilly.com Put that in there, iPad Repair Philly, bam. Good to go with that, submit. Now it's actually gonna save it to the client dashboard too. Domain created, please wait a few seconds while we fetch your data. That is nice. All right, so, oh, cool. Pulls it monthly, weekly, and daily. So probably uses a third party. Um, I don't know exactly. Let's see here. Report Garden SEO tool. Hmm. SEO keyword tool. Let's see what this is. See if it tells us what they. So it says they work with these, but I don't know if they pull the data from that. Keyword research suite. Da, da, da. So this looks like. What does that look like? 
I've seen that before. I don't know if that's Moz. It looks like they white label something, but then maybe customize it on the back end. Either way, while it's fetching the data, I'll put it on pause. Back at it. It actually didn't pull in any of the data yet, but it has it all structured and ready to. It probably takes a little bit of time. Um, you can break down in daily, weekly, monthly. You can check out the reporting here as far as like the timeline. Um, you can actually uh, check this box to do like comparison timeline. And you can build this into a report. So you can jump over into keywords, see what we're ranking for. I wonder if there's a way to page rank. So you see here, uh, we're ranking for first for pretty much everything. Um, number of search results. Here's the SERP link. Um, I'm not sure what group it is, but it's probably like grouping of keywords. And then you can go over to groups, which uh, this is where you create the group. Competitors. I don't know how it's going to pull in that data, but there might not be enough data. But what you can do with this is you can build this into your reporting. So let me see if I have the report for phone repair. Um, oops, sorry, I've got way too many tabs in now. Uh, reports, phone repair affiliate total. So I believe what you can do, like this is uh, the one I just started just to show you guys. Um, let's go to overview. Scroll down here, and then I believe you can go to type SEO, and data is less than the first keyword creation. Okay, so let's go last seven days maybe. Hmm. There might not be enough data in here yet. But these are all the different things that you can pull in. You can customize this. You can change like the color and style of it. Let's try reloading the data. Uh, uh, you could also make it into a uh, bar chart. Doing the same thing. Let's go SEO. Pull in all that data. Really cool stuff. And then you can save it and have this send out monthly, download the data, all that good stuff. Um, thanks so much for watching. That is how you implement and track keywords with Report Card. It only takes a couple minutes, and then you can schedule this to go out whenever you like. Um, please smash that subscribe button, um, follow us, like us, and stay tuned for future uh, videos and updates.